Hey everybody, welcome this week uh, to the Reading Swamp Nation. Hey, thanks for everybody for coming out to FDIC last week. I mean, it was this show was just really a big. There was a lot of people there, and uh, if you attended my session in the big room, I just got to say thanks. Uh, we're here this week with the Albuquerque Fire Department. As always, we're looking at volume, velocity, density, color, and when I teach the class in um, the full day version, we spend a little bit of time. I always cover neutral planes to some degree, and we talked about it. Um, certainly, we talked about it a little bit on Wednesday last week at FTIC in the hour 45, right? But uh, one of the things we're looking at here, right, we're going to stop it right here and look at the neutral plane. So it's about halfway in this window, right? So remember that whenever there's a neutral plane, you have smoke coming out and fresh air going in. So we know this fire is being fed because it's got, for sure, at the bottom of this one, I think. This window looks like it's a little bit uh, covered or maybe just partially broken and so it's a little bit higher here and I don't know there's a lot of fresh air getting in but um, for sure there's fresh air getting in here and uh, typically uh, we would see the same level from the same room you can see essentially the same neutral plane level all the way through and we're, in fact we're going to see that as we go around this side uh, but for now we're just sort of looking at this neutral plane this height here as Albuquerque is just getting out of the rig and starting to set up. Um, like I said, you can see inside there, you can see the fire working and uh, the smoke's coming out. There's And right away you see there, it, it gets up here, it's gray, whereas right down here it's black. So what's happening there is that I, I, my read is there's some water vapor in the smoke. Now there's always, water is a byproduct of combustion, so there's always water vapor from that. but. Uh, I think there's a fair amount here just because I bet uh, my read is there's a lot of material in here that's getting preheated from this fire and it's getting to that point where it's off gassing at the 212 degree range, right? Or 100 C for my Australian and Canadian friends, uh, Europeans, uh, 100 C and we're getting steam, right? So it's adding to the mix some steam which then condenses when it gets outside and starts to cool off, All right? So neutral plane with the air going in the bottom smoking out at the top pretty good working fire back up inside there and we're going to get make our way over to the door now we can look right here at the door and see it's about the same level right remember where that level of the neutral plane was in the windows we're talking about it's almost exactly the same level here roughly now this is more smoke because the door opening is bigger right so the volume's higher just because of the width of that opening, right? Uh, doesn't The depth in here doesn't matter uh, just because the neutral plane is above the level of window. Now, if the, if, the, if the neutral plane was down much lower, what we'd see over at this window over here is 100% exhaust. And then we'd see uh, the neutral plane here with air, fresh air flowing in the bottom. But they're all about the same level right now, which is normal. It's, a, it's not a constant, but it's something we see most of the time. And uh, reading smoke's all about the averages <laughs> or what's normally happening. Okay, so neutral plane really gets stratification here. As this develops, there's a th couple things we're going to look at. One is occasionally, because we know fresh air is going in here and there's smoke coming out of the top, occasionally you can see a little bit of wisps of smoke uh, in this turbulence. This smoke's got a lot of energy, so it's turbulence. It gets mixed up and it actually pulls the smoke back in with... Uh, the fresh air that's on its way in there. This is not a super freight train of air just because it's also getting in the window, right? So if if that window was 100% exhaust and this neutral plane was all the way down around here, this would be a freight train of fresh air running in. Now it's it's a breeze running in there, um, but because it's high, because there's a big, big area here, it's not, there's plenty of air, still plenty of air getting in there and this fire is gonna grow. So one thing we're gonna watch is for that air to suck a little bit of that smoke back in with it. Just a visual representation of what we're talking about right now. The second thing we're going to notice as this develops is you're going to start to see pieces of this smoke light off, right? So, so in your burn to learn, you saw those tendrils of fire going through there. Well, that's just a combination of right temperature, right mix. So if you have that smoke, remember smoke is fuel, right? Smoke is fuel and density is a measure of how much fuel. So we have this thick smoke 
uh, there's fresh air going in and there's going to be some mixing. So where we get the right temperature, right mix, it's going to light off. And when it does light off, it consumes some of the volume and it uh, adds a ton of energy to the mix, increasing the rate of off-gassing, off increasing the temperature, uh, and increasing the, the, the overall badness of the situation, right? So uh, watch for the smoke going in and watch for the lighting off on top as this thing grows. Uh, they're stretching lines, they're going to get masked up, but we're going to get a great opportunity to watch this thing develop. And occasionally you'll see the smoke pull in like you did right there. And then we'll see, start to see a light off in this overhead. It'll be a little hard to see if you're watching on a phone, but uh, if you're able to see it um, on, a, on a little bit bigger screen, you can see a light off up here on occasion as it starts to go. All right, And uh, so we're uh, we're moving in so let me see where we are so yeah so you'll start to see it uh, light off up here and really again really nice uh, layering really nice stratification uh, the officer's going to take another peek here real quick we're going to get one more chance to see those windows and again we'll see that the neutral plane is roughly the same right right around the area edge of that right around here right that if you saw that box so that's right around the same area and uh, the thing the fire is starting to get very close to flash over here we're going to come back off gassing all the way around and uh, we're going to get to see it it's going to be on the within seconds of flash over as they make entry and they're going to make a nice entry here uh, get that line open and start using their water and we'll, we'll see a relatively quick impact once they get this line flowing and we can see right here essentially right the fire that was in the kitchen has worked this way now the couch or whatever is the chair the the um, coffee table all the way around to where this wall right the off gassing from this wall on the far side is catching on fire and uh, you can see it's a pretty clean mix right here certainly back in here there's a lot of smoke being produced but uh, where there's plenty of fresh air up here up front there's a pretty clean mix and they're going to get this uh, fire attack in way and, and we're going to basically once they get it going you're going to have a pretty big impact pretty fast once that line is open gonna this fire is going to make his way inside i just love that off gassing let's watch that again this off gassing along this wall and the really nice mix there really nice mix along that wall i think it's a, a really good representation of what we're talking about with the off gassing of fuel superheating the the surface off gassing the fuel it lights off uh, but pretty quickly he's able to get inside there spread that water around and then of course because it's a helmet cam we're not going to see anything right we'll see a little glow here a little glow there if you go and watch right so now they're in right and they're they're doing uh, they're doing God's work in there with their line spreading that water around and getting that fire put out and certainly if you want to see the whole thing Right, you can watch them roll in, you can hear the radio reports, a professional fire department doing a good job getting set up, getting the line stretched, and then getting searches, uh, first searches go to the floor above in this case, and uh, at least the way that's, that's the way I heard it when I listened. Uh, but a lot of good stuff here from the Albuquerque Fire Department, starting from this neutral plane right at the same level as the box, going all the way back, right, so that neutral plane watching that fire develop and then seeing it start to flash over and then getting a good fire attack on it. All right, so, hey, thanks for being here. Uh, this is just one aspect of reading smoke, right? Each week, right, we don't, I don't cover the whole curriculum each week. Um, and if you want to see me, I'll be, uh, I'll actually be uh, in Ontario, Canada. Um, and then next is uh, Fort Sam Houston in Texas, then two days in Little Rock, Arkansas. So if you're in those areas, uh, come and see me as always you can find out my teaching schedule on my website ignitionpointtraining.com thanks again for being part of the reading smoke nation i i so enjoyed teaching last week as i do every time i get to teach reading smoke uh, shout out to albuquerque and the albuquerque fire department and shout out to uh, everybody out there in the reading smoke nation thanks for being part of it for reading smoke with phil jose i'm phil jose and i'm out